Hello, everyone. You're listening to Health Professional Radio, and I'm your host for today, Tabitha Moretto. Our guest today is Stephen Eddy, the principal and CEO of Health Schools Australia. Today, we're going to talk about ubiquitol and how it can help one's athletic performance. Without further ado, welcome to the show, Steve. It's so nice to have you here again. It's great to be here again. I love coming back and talking health. Yes, my pleasure. Me too, and I love talking about health. So, Steve, can you please tell the audience about yourself, especially those who didn't tune in to our last interview? Sure, yeah. My background, I started off life as a chemist working in Melbourne and, uh, of course, then um, moved on, on to naturopathy and uh, got a, a diploma in naturopathy, then a Bachelor of Health Science and a Master's of Nutrition and, uh, yeah, as I said, taught um, nutritional medicine and naturopathy for about two or 12 years and, uh, yeah, now I just work for a supplement company and, um, you know, we, we talk about health all day and our podcasts and everything. So, yeah, I'm, I'm still in the field, have been for over 20 years. Fantastic. So, Steve, tell us about ubiquitol. From what I know, this is a type of uh, nutrient that's important for energy performance. So can you please tell the audience more about this, please? Sure. Yeah, ubiquinol is commonly known as CoQ10, but it's a specific form of coenzyme Q10 because it's the reduced form. In other words, the active form in the body. And it's used to, as you correctly point out, make energy in the body. And it works in a part of the cells called the mitochondria. And it works in the part of the mitochondria called the electron transfer chain. Don't worry about that. It's basically in the part of the body that makes energy. Very interesting. So I know that a lot of athletes take this particular supplement, but for somebody like me who's not really an athlete, can we benefit from this particular supplement? Sure, yeah. Naturopaths use uh, CoQ10 or ubiquinol um, to help people with heart disease, you know, congestive heart failure, and, and it's good for reducing high blood pressure. So it's very good for your cardiovascular system. The, the, the nutrient concentrates in the heart. So it's very, very good for that. And of course, it gives you more energy throughout the day. So you know, I'm a non-professional athlete. You know, I do a bit of running and swimming and stuff, but, you know, I'm no, you know, super athlete, but, but I take this every day as well, you know, and it certainly supports me. Also, getting getting up there in years, I'm 49, so, um, you know, everything helps, as you, you're probably aware. Wow, I guess this is something that I can take as well. Oh, everyone can. It's a, it's found in your food, too. It's, you know, it's found in beef and liver and, and all this sort of stuff. It's not a weird out there stuff. It's found in food already. And if you take the supplement, it just supplements your doses up to, you know, therapeutic levels. And as this recent study pointed out, it, it certainly does help. Yes, it does sound like it indeed. So can I ask you, Steve, what are the effects of having low CoQ10 levels? What happens to a person's health if their CoQ10 levels are too low? Oh, simple. Uh, basically, if your CoQ10 levels are too low, you end up with deficiencies in energy. And a lot of people who take certain cholesterol medication called statins. Statins actually naturally reduce coenzyme Q10 levels in the body or ubiquinol levels in the body. And these people suffer muscle pain, fatigue, forgetfulness, those sorts of things. So they're the classic symptoms associated with uh, low coenzyme Q10. I see. So can I ask you something, Steve? For example, for someone like me, like I mentioned earlier, I'm not really an athletic person and I take a multivitamin. So can someone taking a multivitamin can also take ubiquinol as well? Oh, of course they can. Yeah, ubiquinol is slightly different to a multivitamin because it's a fat-soluble nutrient that is not commonly found in um, multivitamins. And even if it is in multivitamins, like about 10 or 20 milligrams, as a study show that you need about 200 milligrams a day to get a good therapeutic dose. So you really need to take it on its own with meals, but preferably your heaviest meal of the day, usually dinner. Fantastic to hear that. So, Steve, what can you tell our audience out there about Ubiquitol 10? Tell them something about why they should take it. Oh, sure. Look, well, firstly, they're probably taking it already in low doses in their food. But the reason why they should take a therapeutic dose is because study after study, and there was one just recently that they did on athletes, which basically meant that they improved their athletic performance, time to fatigue, all these sorts of all these sorts of factors. So it's very, very good to help you get through your days. Um, well, obviously, it's terrific if you're doing some exercise, and if you're not, you should be anyway. But it helps give you energy to get through your days, and everybody wants more energy. I mean, it's it's something you know. I've never in all my years of practice, I've never had someone come to me and say, Steve. I've got too much energy. What do I do about it? It's always, I'm low in energy. Uh, so this stuff's great to take every day. 
it's good to protect your heart and, as I said, reduce blood pressure. <clears throat> and it's a great antioxidant as well. That's true, Steve. I agree with you. I've never heard somebody tell me, I got too much energy. It's usually the opposite. I don't have enough energy. Yeah, yeah, you, get, yeah, you, you wake up at five in the morning, you go, look, I've got too much energy. What do I do? Go for a run. Oh, I can't do that. Well, <laughs> you can. You know, this, this is what Ubiquinol will help you do. Sure, it won't, you know, get your shoes on for you in winter and all that sort of stuff, but it will give you that energy, enough energy to actually get through your day. So as you know, after your you know, eight hours of work, you may be able to have enough energy to go for a walk after dinner or you know, go to the gym on the way home or do what I do and swim at lunchtime sometimes. And you know what I mean? It's a, it's a great sort of supplement to give you that spark just to help you get through your days. That's fantastic. Steve, for those who want to get in touch with you, how can they do that? Well, um, the best way to get in contact with me now is probably... Uh, via a website called ATP Science. And ironically, the company I work for uh, has ATP, which is a symbol of energy in the body. So if you think of atpscience.com, um, that's where I'm, I'm doing a lot of work these days, and they can contact me through the website that way. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Steve, for coming back on the show. It's always a pleasure having you here. Oh, it's great to be back, and, and it's great when these new studies come out confirming what you're already doing. And that was Stephen Eddy, Principal and CEO of Health Schools Australia. If you like this interview, transcripts and archives are available at www.hpr.fm. We're on all social media platforms, so don't forget to follow, like, and subscribe. Show us some love by subscribing to our HPR YouTube channel. We're also available for download on SoundCloud and iTunes. This is Tabitha Moretto, and you're listening to Health Professional Radio.